Hey everybody. So we're going to be trying a new place today, a new fresh market here in Indianapolis called Needler's Fresh Market. That's N-E-E-D-L-E-R-S Fresh Market. I'm going to assume I don't have to spell fresh market for you guys. Um, from what I'm being told, this is going to is going to kind of be something like a Trader Joe's uh, and a Whole Foods. And someone actually told me that if I was going to use a West Coast example, it would be something like an Arwans. Um, so we're going to head there. We have two goals today. Two goals. Our first goal is to find something, maybe two things, that we can try there. Because I know they have fresh food that they make and prepare daily. And then maybe find something that we can take home and cook in the kitchen. So that's kind of our goal today. This probably will be a shorter video than normal, which I'm kind of glad. Um, I've been trying to like time these videos down. So it's been about a month since I started the whole YouTube channel thing. And, you know, I've made some videos that I'm really glad I made. I made some videos that were really tough to make. Um, the why I decided to do this channel and the My Truth video, those were really hard. And I have to say, like, the... The whole my truth, I will say that that left me feeling kind of down. So what I'm hoping with my video channel is that someone might be watching it and going through some kind of depression or anxiety or grief, and maybe I share something with them that they're like, you know what, I could actually do that. Um, I need something to take my mind off things, and what he just what he just suggested is an awesome idea. So that's hopefully my goal, it's my desire, uh, is to kind of give back. Something that they can take from my video and they can apply it to their life. Um, you know, some things that we have not even covered yet is painting as a coping skill, journaling as a coping skill. Those videos are coming soon. Uh, I actually had planned on putting the needlers off for a few videos because I wanted to incorporate some of my other videos. But then I decided, you know what? I really want to try Needlers. So we're headed to Needlers now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop off the video now, finish driving, and then I'll pick you guys back up uh, when I get there. All right, see you in a few. Okay, so <laughs> I have to be honest. I just came out of Needlers. I was extremely impressed. Um, so I didn't get a whole lot. Um, I got, I want to try a couple things that I found in there, but I really like Needlers. Okay, so, and we're going to try this as, and you know what, we'll just go ahead and try a piece right now. I, I never buy grocery store sushi, but we're going to try spicy California roll right now, okay? Mm. Um, okay, so... I mean, I have to give honest feedback and reviews. It's kind of what I would expect for grocery store sushi. Um, I mean, it's not bad. It's a little on the fishy side. So that was a spicy California roll. And this actually was pretty reasonably priced for grocery store sushi. Um, 
six dollars and 49 cents all right and then we also got signature chili lime wings which really kind of look like chili lime chicken tenders so we're gonna try one of these right now now this was actually a little bit pricey so for this you get let's count these up six looks like six boneless wings for nine dollars and 79 cents okay so we'll try one of these and these actually are not that hot even though like i was only in there for a short period of time Wow, these are dry. Okay, so, oh my gosh, is there a time where these were put on there? No, these are dry. Wow, for $10, hmm. I would expect it a little bit more. Wow. These are definitely not worth ten dollars. These were a bad buy. <clears throat> mm. God, how I wish I had something to drink. Okay. <clears throat> the third buy. Because we got these three things and then a 12 pack of beer because they carry my favorite beer and it was actually reasonably priced which was a pleasant surprise um it's what they call five a day salad um and i don't have a fork with me i cannot wait to get home and try this so we will do a separate separate taste test on that but uh holy cow so we're gonna do another piece of sushi because i need something that's not dry to kind of finish that off. I don't even know. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can finish off the chicken. So we're gonna put this back in the bag. And we're gonna head home. But the store itself, completely clean. Um, I will definitely come back here. Uh, it was completely clean. Everybody was super nice. My cashier was so sweet and so helpful. Um, their selection is awesome. I will definitely put it above a Whole Foods. I'll put it a little bit below a Trader Joe's. Um, but this is only my first time here. I might actually end up putting this ahead of Trader Joe's. Their selection of cheese was really, really good. Um, I did not get to try any of their prepared foods that you can actually eat on site because that actually closes at 7 and I got here at like 7.01. Well, uh, actually, I walked by that section at 701. So we're going to come back here maybe tomorrow. So, so far, based on, I'll give the sushi um, six and a half out of ten stars. I mean, it wasn't bad. A little on the fishy side. Not all that spicy for a spicy California roll. Um, but then again, I am a firm believer in you don't get sushi at a grocery store. So I kind of broke that rule today. This is actually the first time I've ever done that. The... Uh, the chicken, um, I'm actually going to give that three stars out of ten because that was some of the driest chicken I've ever had in my entire life. And I really needed something here in the car to wash that down. So the five-a-day salad, we're going to try when we get back home. We'll give that a rating. But overall, as far as the store, just based on my first impressions and the friendliness of the staff and the cleanliness of the environment and the selection of stuff that they have, I'm going to go eight out of ten stars. I was really impressed with, Needl with Needler's Fresh Market. But yeah, I mean, it's not that far from home. It's about the same distance as going to Trader Joe's. I will definitely be back. And like I said, probably tomorrow just to try some of their on-site uh, meal ideas. So, all right. So we're going to head home and we're going to try the five-a-day salad. And I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. All right. So this is what we were waiting to get home for. This is what I've been trying to try the entire way here. So I'm going to say this was an expensive salad. This is $9.00. Nine dollars for a salad. So let's see how this tastes.
This is actually pretty fucking good. So looks like we got some tomato. Then here's some broccoli, some corn, carrots, onion. pineapple that's really good I wouldn't consider this a nine dollar salad but it is pretty fucking good so on the way home I had another one of the chicken tenders the signature chili lime chicken tenders um, so there was actually seven in the container I ate two And when I got to the dumpster out in front of my apartment, I got out and I tossed the other five. Um, I'm gonna, I gave them originally, I think three stars when I was in the car. I'm actually gonna downgrade that to two stars. They, they just weren't good. I mean, they were dry. They were so dry. Like I couldn't, I could just, I could only eat the two. This I could definitely see trying again, even at $9. This is really good. This is good enough that I'm going to say this is going to be my last bite so I can save half of it for later. Mm, that is really good. Um, so on this salad, I'll give it a 7 out of 10 stars. The only reason it doesn't get 8, out of, eight stars out of 10 is... Actually, I'm going to give it a 7 and a half stars. And the only reason it doesn't get 8 and a half stars was a nine dollar price tag okay so we're gonna go and we're gonna sit back and relax I mix this into two different uh, needler trips maybe I'll go tomorrow and we'll just edit it all in together but anyway thanks for shopping with me thanks for hanging out and we'll see how this goes whether there's a second part to this video bye everybody all right so we're back at needlers today uh, to continue our trip from last night because I really wanted to try their uh, in-store stuff that they actually make. Um, I was gonna actually film in there, but it was pretty crowded in, in the area where the tables were and kind of loud because they, they pipe in music over the speakers. So what I got was I got a large Americano And I got a piece of their pizza, which everybody says is really, really good. So I got sausage pizza. Um, their iced Americano actually comes in a paper cup. Uh, kind of, and just like no needlers, markings on it at all. So I happen to have a cup with me that's a little bit user-friendly, more user-friendly. More user -friendly. It's not a bad Americano. All right, so um, to eat, like I said, I got the sausage pizza, and then I got this banana cream tart. Um, it looks really good, and the lighting here kind of really sucks. But once I open up the tart, uh, I'll give you guys a closer look at it. Um, this is the sausage pizza. It's actually little round pieces of sausage. You guys get a good look at that i did have to let it sit a little bit while i was waiting for my americano and there was a gentleman in front of me i do gotta say the pizza is really good <laughs> it is really good the crust is very airy and crisp it it eats like a thin crisp, like a thin crust, but uh, but it's got like a hand tossed edge. This is actually really good. Okay, so we'll finish this up in a little bit. Okay, I will definitely be coming back to Needlers 
for the pizza. Oh gosh, I'll give that. That shit is good. I'm gonna give that eight and a half stars out of ten. Um, so I'm gonna give the pizza eight and a half stars out of ten. The Americano is serviceable. Um, it's kind of what you would expect at a grocery store. Unlike the pizza, which I would have not expected at the at a grocery store, I'll give the Americano the Americano six six and a half stars out of ten. Um, all right, so I'm dying to try this banana tart because this was five bucks. Um, banana cream, right? Yes, banana cream tart. So we're gonna try to give you a little bit better look at the banana cream tart. Um, okay, so the lighting in here really sucks. So we just flip the camera. All right, so that is the banana cream tart. It looks really good. Okay, so let's flip the camera back around the other way. All right, so we got you back up there on the dash. I don't actually have my car cam with me today. I thought about coming here early. I had to go into work for a little while yesterday and a little bit of today. Um, I know I don't ever talk about work. There's a reason for that. Um, one, I don't want to get caught up in a hole. Oh, you cannot talk about your job on your channel if people find out. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is a pleasant surprise. Mmm. Okay. So, I asked the girl in the bakery about the stuff. They have a huge assortment of cakes, a, whole, a huge assortment of fruit tarts, uh, cream tarts, um, and then they have cheese, sausage, and pepperoni pizza. And they make all this stuff daily as they go. It's not like anything they make in the morning or overnight and then just sit there all day long. So she actually said this tart was actually pretty fresh because they'd already sold out of the ones they made earlier. And I can tell. I can tell. Um... The salad I got last night was really good. The five-a-day salad. Um, I ended up throwing the, the chicken tenders away because they were just so dry. Um, the sushi was middle of the road, five or six stars out of ten. Um, if I remember correctly, I only gave the chicken tenders two stars last night. Um, the salad, you know, that was really good. Um, I'll go seven and a half stars on that. Uh, the pizza today, eight, I'm going to go eight and a half stars. The banana cream tart, I'm going to straight up give that 10 out of 10 stars. That shit. Fuck everything else in that store. The banana cream pie <laughs> or the banana cream tart. Um, I'm glad this is not across the street from where I live. Uh, it's actually a good 10 minute drive. Mm. All right, we're going to put this away. We're going to save this for later. So there we have it. Um, the haul for day number two at Needler's, much better haul. Um, very pleased with everything that I got today. The Americano is, is, is decent. It's better than decent. It's better than average. Um, 10 stars on the banana cream tart, uh, eight and a half stars on their pizza. And I will definitely be coming back for both of these. Um, okay. So we're going to pack up here and we're going to take our leftovers and head on home. And then put this uh, video together. And then I still got another video I need to work on this weekend. Um, I'm going to be starting a new feature on my channel called New Music Wanders. And it's going to highlight new artists in the music industry. So i got a couple things we've got to do this weekend. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here and uh, take all this stuff home. 